Meghan Markle is believed to have revealed to close pals attending her intimate baby shower in New York the gender of baby Sussex. The Duchess of Sussex, who is soon to enter the eighth month of her pregnancy, hinted in January she and Prince Harry had no plans to find out whether they will welcome a boy or a girl. But e, royal expert Melanie Bromley suggested Meghan could have been trying to gain back control over her perception in the public sphere after the royal family took away her voice. Ms. Bromley said, I don't know if it's certain that Meghan is telling her friends things and allowing it to get out. But I don't blame her if it's the case because she has had her voice taken away from her. And I would want somebody to speak on my behalf. That's natural. A source close to Meghan told the Daily Mail this week the Duchess of Sussex had told friends in New York she is expecting a royal baby boy for the spring. But the royal expert suggested the former actress has revealed the gender to find which friends are leaking information to the media. Ms. Bromley continued, traditionally, the royals don't really find out the sex of their baby. But obviously Meghan is just changing things up. And I can definitely see her saying to Harry I would like to know because I want to decorate the nursery in a certain way. It could be that dot it could be that she has told people to see who the leaks are. But as I have said before, I do think that Meghan knows her friends are talking to the press and I think that is a very unusual position that the royal family haven't had before. Dot she added. I will say, going back to the People magazine article of three weeks ago which has caused massive problems, if they are her best friends, why are they talking to People magazine? That story is the smoking gun. Five of Meghan Markle's friends in February attempted to counter the negativity directed at the Duchess of Sussex in an interview with People magazine. One of Meghan's inner circle said, Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths. We worry about what this is doing to her and the baby. It's wrong to put anyone under this level of emotional trauma, let alone when they're pregnant. Dot Meghan and Harry have this week returned from a three-day visit to Morocco and are expected to be soon settling down in their new home on the Windsor estate, Frogmore Cottage, to prepare for the arrival of the royal baby. While Harry and Meghan admitted they did not want to know the sex of their child beforehand, The name Victoria has emerged as a clear favorite among Britons for the tot. The name Victoria would be a nod to the royal family, as Queen Elizabeth II is a great-great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria. Although the two monarchs never met as Queen Victoria died before Queen Elizabeth II was born, the two appear to have a strong bond.